Today we will read Shirada Rasa Sudanidi, verse 28. O saintly mind, quickly take shelter of sweet natured Radha. One thing I want to say the mind, if not saintly, he will not take shelter of Radha. He will take shelter of Radha. Radha. Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita 9, Canto 1. Read, you will know. Then you will take the shelter, we will take shelter of Maya Shakti, material world effect. Nine canto, write down everyone. One, two, three, four. One, nine, one, nine, two, nine, three, nine, four. Everyone practice to read again. Bhagavad Gita. Nine twelve, nine thirteen, nine fourteen. Where is my mistake? Find out. Yeah. Last uh, uh, Wednesday, we read together in uh, World of Zoom Sharing. Isn't it, Gurudev? Huh? Uh, about this Bhagavad Gita, 9th chapter, 12th, 13th, 14th, just you said. Yes. We read together last Wednesday. Yes. In Zoom Sangha. Maybe yes. we have a recording. Then if someone who likes to listen to Gurudev's explanation, we have a recording. With Guru Deva's commentary, Jai Sri Radha. No, I not want my commentary. I want that you listen Prabhupada commentary. <laughs> Jai Guru Deva. Radha Radha, I request to open the translation for Spanish to me. Radha Radha, thank you. Please, you have to come early and you have to say early, my dear Bhagavatam Gita. You are always late. They are Japan and G Germans are very tired. Then they will not join many Japanese and Germans. Please, careful with the timings. Uh, Finish. Yeah. And write in chat. Because I want to see Prabhupada commentaries. And why not I understand now? Because friendly mind is not there. But no. What is? Saintly mind is not there. <laughs> My mind is not saintly, so it's not friend. I'm searching friend in my Shakti. <laughs> Gently, mind has to be there. Then friendly will happen. Now, I will not say anything, but you understand this is very important. And conclusion go to the 934. 9 chapter. These things has to Understand rightly. Not understanding will come. Basic is not clear. Right. Read away. Sorry. I Saintly oh, mind. Saintly mind. Quickly take shelter 
of sweet natured Radha. One thing more I have to say. Because if you not take the shelter of sweet nature of Radha, Maya Shakti will catch you. Is a Krishna energy. Anyone cannot live without energy. If you keep yourself free, independent here, you have to stay one place. In the effect of material energy or spiritual energy. I hear you say, no, I will be independent. Sometime I will do this, sometime I will do this. Then you are ping pong. R right, Rasmai? <laughs> sometime I want to do it. Right. And sometime I also do this. Ping pong, ping pong. This is not simply mine. This is not in mind. Certainly not in mind. <laughs> there. Oh, saintly mind, quickly take shelter of sweet natured Radha. who is like a grove, full of wish-yielding vine, who reveals a wonderful abundance of powerful Rasika compassion, and who is a deep and unbridled Nectar ocean of love. We continue from the commentary. Yeah. Yeah. In Sadhana yeah, Kavesh, In Sada Kavesh, Sripad addresses his heart as follows. O Sadhu Chetaha, saintly heart, quickly take shelter of the Supreme Truth named Radha. A saintly heart is a heart that is exclusively fixed in the Ishtadev. A saintly heart is a heart that is exclusively fixed in Ishtadev. Srimad Jiv, Jiva Goswami said, Those who give up all cheating propensities, including liberation, and surrender to devotion to the Lord. They are sadhus. Srila Prabodananda Saraswati, the blessed author of this book, was first also a mukti vadi. But by the boundless grace of Sriman Mahaprabhu, he was released 
from the grasp of the witch of the desire for liberation. And he began to aim at Vraja Rasa. Therefore, it is very proper of him to address his heart as Sadhu. He prods his ha Sadhu heart to surrender to Sri Radhika's lotus feet and to remain surrendered like this. Surrender is the very life force of devotion. When surrender, where to surrender? Repeat this line up. Up. Mm. A saintly heart is a heart that is exclusively fixed in Ishtadev. Mm. And then those who give up all cheating propensities including liberation and surrender and they surrender to devotion to the lord they are sadhus shripad <laughs> pravudananda saraswati prods his sadhu heart to surrender to Sri Radhika's lotus feet and to remain surrendered like this. Again, repeat this line. He prods his sadhu heart to surrender to Sri Radhika's lotus feet Understand? and to remain. Understand what is meaning? Surrender to Ishtadev, Radha Lotus feet. Without surrendering to Radha Lotus feet. Things will not, you will not surrender in your sarup. If you have no goal, you don't know your base. Your your feeling will not grow. Where for what feeling need? Why I need the feeling for Radhika? If I know surrender to her, I know fixed in my mind to Radha, why I need to grow any relation with him? And when I will surrender to Radhika, then I have a feeling will come. To know myself to stay there. Then I will surrender to my sarup also. Radha, this sarup can bring to Radha. I love this. Is staying inside me to connect with Radharani because this is my goal. This is my goal. And third thing will come how I guessed Istadev and how get I my Sarup 
who do this, who help me to do that. You know, this navigator, this guru is so lucky in my life, who changed my life. That nista will come after. When I got some achievement in my life, So goal is not to surrender here, where I, I am not going to get anything. I surrender to reach goal. If I am not getting goal, useless time wasting my life. Goal has to fix. That is the job of Guru. And from where you can see, this is the job of Guru, from which identification, see. Like Jesus, he fixed the goal, Father. And he said, I can see Father when I will become Son. And he practiced in Son to see his Father. But where he got this mercy, he did not forget that mercy. That is Nista, firm faith comes. That after that, that, oh my God, I got one mercy, would impossible in my life to get it. I got the goal of life. I got the my nature fixed for the goal, not in material things. That is sadhu nature. This is the sadhu nature. And this nine chapter, what I say you, when I read, my God, it opens my veins. I understand because we are reading that more become crystal clear. You read now, you will be crystal clear. Is a Radharani mercy here? Yeah? Before also you read many times, now one time more read here yeah? and see how you understand this. Radhe, Radhe, Guru. If I can say something, yes. because in this ninth chapter, which you are mentioning, 12, 13, 14, it's description of qualities of devotees. And these qualities, which each devotee has to develop. 12, as I remember, is yeah. a good activity. Fruitive activator. Fruitless. But fruit is activator. Yeah. We are all fruitive activators if we have no fixed anista and devotion in this way. Yes. That is sadhu way. Yeah. Not that we are doing nothing, is only we are getting something for some material benefit. Yes. Without Just, fixing, without fixing the Ishtadev, we will not have a reason to change ourselves. No, nothing. Nothing will happen. But if we have desire, strong desire, to attain Radhika or who wants what, then we will have strong need and desire to make our qualities better. And as I remember, Prabhupada said that all these qualities actually cannot be attained without bhakti. 
not independently. Wow. Bhakti must be there and then qualities, which are mentioning all lists of qualities. What is bhakti is very confusing word. <laughs> what is bhakti? Selfless. Hmm? Bhakti means relation. Yes. Like a mother relation with the daughter. This relation open the breast means mother open the breast in outside. It's very difficult to open the breast outside because of the baby he opened. What is meaning? You have to open yourself. That is devotion. No privacy. Mother said, what is privacy for me, for my baby? Because I am devoted to her. And baby say, there is no privacy from mama. I will do kiki and papa, kiki and pipi, kaka in your lap. This is devotion. He said, no, my baby, my baby, I will clean it and powder it. I will not say to anyone. This is devotion. This is love of mother and daughter. This is devotion. Reality is bhakti is devotion and when love, love in action is devo bhakti. Yes. No emptiness, no philosophy. It is natural process. Natural. And then, and then all these qualities are becoming natural. Because they are situated in the mind, in the heart. And then the person is sadhu because the mind is sadhu and heart is the sadhu. Because of devotion. Because of this loving, beautiful, loving relationship. Where mind will be there? That sadhu mind, where is going? To be loved. That's it. And where is the heart? One to point be loved. Eight. Yes. And this connection becomes so divine that we realizing my relation, I cannot live without you. Yes. Are, are my dear navigator, you are my real life. You are my guru. You are my whole life. I cannot leave you. You sit in my heart as a Chaitanya Guru. I cannot live without you. You navigate me more. I want to enter more in after that. I don't want to stop it. I want to enter in more deep place. I will not lose my life and chances. I want to go more inside in divine consciousness. Without devotion, without love in action possible, No. Without fixing, is they possible? You can be a saintly mind. We can say, I'm a crazy mind. 
my crazy nature, ping pong nature never go to, into me and more suffering is coming in my life for nothing. Then such a mind can always think on Ishtadev. Man mana bhava mad bhakti. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not possible. What does it mean, man mana bhava I gave you my heart. I love you. <laughs> yeah. That's the that, that love is divine love. Yes, we are talking about divine love. That love, love, what is divine? Love can move from soul to soul. It's not material. You see, one love, English, rag, anurag, man, sneha, so many words in love, so many details of love. Because the love is so unlimitless, with different intensities and varieties, wow. and only in relationship, without any hidden motives, this kind of love can be completely manifest. And then all good qualities also manifest automatically. We cannot cultivate good qualities actually without the devotion. And without taking shelter of love. Yeah. Without taking uh, shelter of Mahabhav, how feeling will grow and love will grow, same thing. Not possible. And this is a firm nishta, actually, to have such kind of faith that only this kind of surrendering with full love can bring us to our desirable goal. Jananda Maharaj. Please. Why Krishna appear as a Chaitanya? Explain that. <clears throat> so Krishna, Krishna in many dira, uh, Krishna is watching Radha, Radha Rani's amazing love. Like uh, Radha Rani was sitting or maybe any anything and one word here madhusudana or madhusudana is gone then completely radharani consciousness like a switch on radharani forget everything so in front of krishna radha become crazy lady and Krishna was watching what's happening. And Krishna was <coughs> so much curious what kind of love Radharani has. Or what kind of uh, attribute 
I have. I want to taste Lada's feeling, Lada's love, Lada's Mahabab. Krishna may be Supreme Godhead, but about love, Krishna does not know so much. So Krishna was thinking, so what to do? And Krishna was thinking, oh, I have to take position as a devotee, like a servant, or maybe maid servant, but this time servant. So Krishna is Hari. Krishna's name is, another name is Hari. So Krishna stealed Radha's external bodily kara. And then Krishna steal Radha's mood, feeling. Then become Radharani, a Krishna, become Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But his mood is as devotee. So how can we, our devotee, our, our sadaka deha, our conditioned souls, can taste Radharani's Mahababa? Generally speaking, it is impossible to taste Radha's Mahababa. Because we cannot become Radharani. It is impossible to become Radharani. But one way find out. Oh, Radha's maid servant has same feeling with Radharani. So <clears throat> at first Krishna could enjoy Radha's feeling. Then, Radha's feeling is there in, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then he was thinking, oh, I should distribute this feeling. This is actually, oh, Manjari was tasting. So Krishna, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, actually he tastes twice. At first he tastes <clears throat> Lada's mood, Lada's feeling. At first he, he tastes. Then again he wants to taste as Manjari's feeling. It's quite astonishing. Oh my God. This is <laughs> this feeling <laughs> I never distributed before. So, but uh, this time, Krishna decided, oh, actually, Aishwarya Baba is not uh, enough for me. I need Madhura Baba. I need Braja Baba. Especially, I need Gopi Baba. No, actually, I need Manjari Baba. So, Mahaprabhu tastes as Manjari also. And then <clears throat> this secret given to Rupa Goswami. And also Ragnata Das Goswami. Also Sanatana Goswami. Other Goswamis. Why? Because they, they, they are original Manjari. They know how to taste it. Also, they know how to distribute it. So therefore, Mahaprabhu ordered uh, Goswamis, please evacuate lost holy dam, Brindava, Brajdam, Krishna's dealer's place. And also, Mahaprabhu ordered, please write you check all the scripture, please write essence of Raga Bhakti, essence of 
Unna to ajara. Unna to ajara rasa. So this contained Goswami's book, especially Rukpa Goswami's book, especially Lagnata Das Goswami's book. So we are following Rupa Goswami. Therefore, we prefer to, to follow someone who is Rupa Nuga. That person is Ragnata Das Goswami. So therefore, we follow. We try to, try to feel. Ragnata Das is feeling. This is Rupa Nuga's feeling. Mm -hmm. So we are leading this Nadara Sasdanidi and Birapak Manjari. This also we want to follow Rupa Ragunata's feeling. The Rupa Ragunata's feeling comes through Guru Parampara. So we try to learn this feeling from our Shri Guru Dev. So this is my humble <laughs> explanation. Yeah, read more. Yeah. He, Prabodhananda Saraswati, prods his ha sadhu heart to surrender to Shiradika's lotus feet. Yeah, oh. No surrender many places. Surrender to her, Radha. You cannot surrender at the same time ten places. That is not good. You say, oh no, 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 I will surrender to Guru Dev. Are Dasi? Radha Dasi is this, and she is standing and you will Dandava to Gurudev. Yes. Why? Because he showed me that. Okay, but da Swamini is standing. Surrender to her to develop your sarup. Then sarup will come. The Guru must see no require. Yes, he requires, he always want to make you a manjari. This is her goal only. If you surrender to Radha, Guru will be happy. You will get manjari sarup, Guru will be happy. Means if you fix your nature, Guru will be happy. You say free, you are free now to give the any, any soul enlightened. You are qualified for that. The day Guru will understand, he said, he will empower you. Because if I am a ping pong, he will never empower me. And I am fixed, he will empower me. Now you help us. Time come for you. Use your every moment in the service. Even the Krishna become service to Radha. This is Chaitanya Siksha. Now, just now he said, Krishna, ninth chapter. I was so surprised when I listened that Krishna 
he is living in shakti material energy also and his spiritual energy also my god shocked <laughs> krishna only at this in the energy and you want to running for krishna if you run for krishna only material energy if you go running for radha aladini when you go in a spiritual energy what will happen you know prema shakti you took the shelter of prema shakti well krishna is always there radha so simple so much time taking i was worried when i read now i say i i i take so much time to understand this before was krishna for me everything not radhika so i was in the, living in maya shakti because krishna is also there <laughs> So Lila, Abram Bar Krishna Lila. Sri Ram. This is the mercy of Guru Dev to crystal clear the vision in life. this path go that time i don't understand when i read two days before gauri didi teach me about nine chapter she was teaching me i said wow i got it now i took so long time for that to understand This is the mercy of my Gauri Didi. Yeah. To open my vision. Yeah. So Guru Dev, actually Krishna cannot live without love, <laughs> without prema. With, with, without Sakti, he cannot live. He yeah. is. <laughs> He live with the Maya Shakti of his special Shakti. He cannot live without that. <laughs> He's both place. <laughs> Only Krishna, then in Maya Shakti we are. And when we are in the Radha Rani Kripa shelter, then we are in the spiritual Shakti. We cannot take Radha Rani Shakti Kripa. Then Krishna is secondary. <laughs> so Guru Dev, if we take Radha Shakti, we need Radha Dasi. Radha Dasi. We 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 that Radha Dasi, we cannot get mercy of Radha. No, this is simply my dear. This is simply. I got. I don't want simply my. Then what you will say? Demoniac mind. <laughs> Opposite of sensitive mind. What is that? Material mind. Maybe more soft, soft word. Now we have to decide. Huh? I was. I say like this. 
so much I living in demoniac mind because of my foolishness. So long time. What is not mine, I think that this is mine. Because I know take shelter of Radhika. Sorry, I'm diverting you. You read that. <laughs> I, I'm showing my foolishness to you that how was I, I was shocked when I learned this from my Gauri Didi. I don't remember other thing now, only I say. How become foolish mind? What is the word there? Hypocrites. How we behave like a hypocrites. Gurudev, Gurudev, could you, Gauri Devi, Nasi, could you read, read this again, this sentence that we can all feel, Gurudev's feeling? Yeah, can you bring Bhagavad Gita? Yeah. New one. Oh. You not underline, no? You teach, you teach me. No, no, so you teach or my teach, you don't know my bhav. Thirteen, twelve, twelve, twelve. <laughs> Loudly, you have to say. No, okay. No, I, can I talk now? Yeah. I can see. Uh, now, the point is that the day before, Maharaj was explaining about uh, Radhadasya. Then I, by, I was reading the ninth chapter, chapter and I understood that uh, in Bhagavad Gita was written uh, uh, everything Maharaj told the day before. So uh, he, tells, he says that uh, I'm teaching to him, but it's quite the opposite. And I was reading the... Uh, 12 sloka in Sanskrit. And in Sanskrit, um, uh, it's very clear that um, the sloka says that the. Read, read the sloka, yeah, not say yourself. Those that have demoniac nature, asuras and um, rakshasas, they take shelter in the material prakriti. Because says Moga sa, Moga karma no, Moga gyana di cheta sa. Raksha si asurim cheva, Prakriti mohini ashita uh, means Prakriti is energy. Read Prabhupada. Yeah, mohini. Hmm. Yeah, I have to read all the parts. Yes, yeah, sure, it? this is working. No, you guys. Okay. No, I see you, what I said. No, read see, that. I way. don't believe yeah. in my explanation. Yes, yeah, okay. Please. I believe a Prabhupada explanation. Yeah, I was telling how we came to this. Uh, uh -huh. Those who are thus bewildered are attracted by demonic and atheistic views. In that deluded condition, there are hopes for liberation. Their fruitive activities and their culture of knowledge are all the same. Okay? Should I read the second? Part part. Part part. There are many devotees who, who assume themselves to be in Krishna consciousness. Loudly, to not go in a speaker. Huh? Yeah, and devotional service. But at heart, do not assume. Slow, because they will translate. But at heart, do not accept the supreme personality of God, Krishna, heart as the absolute truth. For them, the fruit of devotional service going back to God will never be tasted. Similarly, those who are engaged in fruitive, pious activities and who are ultimately hoping to be liberated from this material entanglement, 
will never be successful either. Because they derive the supreme personality of God and Krishna. In other words, persons who mock Krishna are to be understood to be demonic or atheistic. As described in the seventh chapter of Bhagavad Gita, such demonic miscreants never surrender to Krishna. <laughs> they never surrender to Krishna. They don't know Krishna. Then where they surrender? <laughs> Material place. No. Material. And Guru also, in Guru means uh, they don't know why they took shelter for their material energy benefit. Because they are not connected. Therefore, their mental speculations to arrive at the absolute truth bring them to the false conclusion that the ordinary living entity and Krishna are one and the same. <laughs> With such a false conviction, they think that the, the body of any human being is now simply covered by material nature, and that as soon as one is liberated from this material body, there is no difference between God and himself. This attempt to become one with Krishna will be baffled because of delusion. Such atheistic and demoniac cultivation of spiritual knowledge is always futile. That is the indication of this verse. For such persons, cultivation of the knowledge in the Vedic literature, like the Vedanta Sutra and the Upanishads, is always baffled. baffled. Useless. It is a great offense, therefore, to consider Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, to be an ordinary man. Those who do so are certainly deluded because they cannot understand the eternal form of Krishna. The Briyad Vishnu Smriti clearly states one who considers the body of Krishna to be material should be driven out from all rituals and activities of the Shruti and the Smriti. And if one by chance sees his face, one should at once take bath in the Ganges to rid himself of infection. People jeer at Krishna because they are envious of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Their destiny is certainly to take birth after birth in the species of atheistic and demoniac life. Perpetually, their real knowledge will remain under delusion, and gradually they will regress to the darkest region of creation. Then coming text thing. Mm. So son of Prita. Those who are not deluded, the great souls, are under the protection of the divine nature. You see? Uh, explain Prabhupada. Yeah. Divine nature in, in Sanskrit verse is called divine faculty. Mm. Uh, they are fully engaged in devotional service because they know me as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, original 
and inexhaustible. Part of what is divine grace is to be understood. In this verse, the description of the Mahatma is clearly given. You see, Mahatma word. Description of Mahatma. The first sign of the Mahatma is that he, he is already situated in the divine nature. Yeah. He is not under the control of material nature. And how is this affected? That is explained in the seventh chapter. One who surrenders unto the Supreme Personality of God, Sri Krishna, at one becomes free from the control of material nature. That is the qualification. One can... What if you can control, come in the control of superior nature, a spiritual body, a spiritual soul, that is Gopi Bhav. That you connect with Gopi, connected with Krishna. Soul connected with Krishna's creator is a nature of soul. He's a gopi bhav, not manjari bhav. But we have to come first to the gopi bhav. Read again this line. One who surrenders unto the Supreme Personality personality of God, Sri Krishna, at once becomes free from the control of material nature. You see, free from material nature means soul. That is the qualification. One can become free from the control of material nature as soon as he surrenders his soul to the Supreme Personality of God. Yeah. That, bow. that is the preliminary formula. Basic. Being marginal potency, as soon as the living entity is freed from the control of material nature, he, he is put under the guidance of the spiritual nature. Yeah. David in Prakriti. This is the one. The guidance of the spiritual nature is called Daivi Prakriti, divine nature. So, when one is promoted in that way, by surrendering to the Supreme Personality of God, one attains to the stage of great soul, Mahatma. The Mahatma does not divert his attention to anything outside Krishna, because he knows perfectly well that Krishna is the original Supreme Person, the cause of all causes. There is no doubt about it. Such a Mahatma or Great Soul develops through association with other Mahatmas, pure devotees. Jananda Maharaj always said, Association. Hmm. Pure devotees are not even attracted by Krishna's other features, such as the four and Mahavishnu. They are simply attracted by the two armed form of Krishna. They are not attracted to other features of Krishna nor are they concerned with any form of a demigod or, a, or of a human being. They meditate only upon Krishna in Krishna consciousness. They are always engaged in the unswerving service of the Lord in Krishna consciousness. Fourteen is good calculation. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Radhe. 
these commentaries are actually not possible to properly understand without without going without understanding the relationship otherwise yes that the, uh, if you feeling, have and with radha rani you surrender yes. radha rani is all crystal clear then is cl- crystal clear 14 is more deep yeah 14 is more deep this is energy and now you see the 14 yeah loud loud 14 where is the book <laughs> Read 14. Without taking shelter of Radhika, understanding Radha is nothing clear happening. Mm-hmm. All the, darkness. The sloka is always chanting my glories. Mm. Endeavoring with great determination. bowing down before me these great souls perpetually worship me with devotion and the purport the mahatma cannot be manufactured by rubber stamping an ordinary man by copying an ordinary man his symptoms are described here as follows a mahatma is always engaged in chanting the glories of the supreme lord krishna the personality of god has he has no other business he is always engaged in the glorification of the lord in other words he is not an impersonalist when the question of glorification is there absolutely one has to glorify the supreme lord praising his holy name his eternal form his transcendental qualities and his uncommon pastimes not common uncommon past one has to glorify all these things therefore a mahatma a mahatma is attached to the supreme personality of god head continue mm. one who is attached to the impersonal teacher of the supreme lord the brahma jyoti is not described as mahatma in the bhagavad gita he is described in a different way in the next verse the mahatma is always engaged in different activities of devotional service wow. as described in shrimad bhagavatam hearing and chanting about vishnu not a demigod or human being 
This is devotion. Sharavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, and Smaranam. In English, remembering him. Such a Mahatma has firm determination to achieve at the ultimate end the association of the Supreme Lord in any one of the five transcendental rasas. You see, in relations. Devotional relations. To achieve that success, he engages all activities, mental, bodily, vocal, everything, in the service of the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. That is called full Krishna consciousness. In devotional service, there are certain activities which are called determined, such as fasting on certain days, like the 11th day of the moon, the Kadasi, on the appearance day of the Lord. All these rules and regulations are offered by the great Acharyas for those who are actually interested in getting admission into the association of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the transcendental world. The Mahatmas, great souls, strictly observe all these rules and regulations. And therefore, they are sure to achieve the desired result. As described in the second verse of this chapter, not only is this devotional service easy, but it can be performed in a happy mood. One does not need to undergo any severe penance or austerity. He can live this life in devotional service, guided by an expert spiritual master. And in any position, either as householder or a sannyasi or a brahmachari, in any position and anywhere in the world, he can perform this devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead and thus become actually Mahatma, a great soul. That's the end of the purport. Chiran.
प्लीज He prods his sadhu heart to surrender to Sri Radhika's lotus feet and to remain surrendered like this. Surrender is the very life force of devotion. When surrender is not nicely established within the heart, the Lord's lotus feet cannot be worshipped. Yeah. The devotee who desires devotion to God surrenders exclusively to the lotus feet of the Lord so that he can be released from the hands of his many different anarthas, bad habits, and he can reach perfection in the loving service of his Ishtadev. Srimad Jiva Goswami has said, Exclusive surrender reaches perfection in two ways. One, knowing no other shelter than the lotus feet of the Lord that grant fearlessness and immortality and two although the devotee had taken shelter of someone else due to not being so wise yet he gives up that shelter and takes exclusive shelter of the supreme lord anyway but the maid servants of shirada rani cannot satisfy their hearts by simply being surrendered to the lord's lotus feet they are exclusively surrendered to Sri Radhika's lotus feet. As a result of this surrender, they will attain the topmost perfection in relishing the different sweetnesses of the Lord's service. This will be described in the proper places. Radha, in Radha. this, mm. if I can say something, yeah, yeah, it's very clear. Here is mentioned this difference of surrendering to the Lord two ways of surrendering to the Lord and two kinds of devotees. And third one is surrendering to Radharani's feet. Someone who is interesting to attain the God, the Lord. There is a two categories which ba Baba is saying here. Devotee who immediately surrender to the Lord because he has sufficient sukritis for that. And the second type of devotees are devotees who took shelter because, because of lack intelligence 
to someone else and then later they correct themselves and took shelter to the Lord. And this is, we can say, Narayan devotees, Bhagavan devotees. And the third one are not satisfied to be purified. They are not satisfied only to, to take the shelter of the Lord. They want shelter of Radharani like her maidservants. And the beautiful thing is that these kind of devotees then can relish the service of the Lord. Through taking the shelter of Radhika. Through taking the shelter of his love. And they are only satisfied if they take shelter and surrender only to Radhika. Like we say, Radi, Radha Adi Sneh. Yeah, yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. Taking shelter of love gives you vision to, to see from the eyes of love the feelings and understanding more crystal clear. Right? Yes. Only through the level of love, through the point of love, everything will be crystal clear. Pure love. Okay. Otherwise, always will be some confusion, misconception, not complete understanding, not complete realizations. And only love can bring person to sit in position to serve without any motives, hidden desires, without deceitfulness, hypocrisy. Yeah. And this is the sadhu, Mahatma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, want to see. a word of uh, just a word to, to add to that that really lovely realization. We're talking about surrender uh, as moving towards fixing on a goal, and that goal being devotional love. But surrender has a second component, a second part, and that's that we're letting go of something. There's a part we're going to. But there's a part we're coming from and letting go from, and that's our material existence, the material world, our ego. And the, su the success of our attachment to love depends on the success of our letting go of our material connections. That's yeah, oh, ah. yeah, oh, my. yeah, yeah, actually, my, there is a also Mahatma. Beautiful Guru Dev. I love him so much. I no relate in Vrindavan. Uh, he said to me, I am not relating. I no feel anything here. Some guy is a very dangerous issue. Nafrat ki mahabbat ki pahli siri hai. When you don't like it, means you like it. So, if you don't like it, you are in the problem with them. Be careful, because you don't like it. Nafrat ki mahabbat ki pahli siri hai. The you don't liking is the first step in love. Yes. <laughs> Very often. <laughs> Very often, this is the first symptom. <laughs> symptom. When you don't first, like. first step of addiction to Vrindavan. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like when you are with problems, you will you are in love with Vrindavan. <laughs> Be careful. This is Raj Mod Gurudev. 
<laughs> this is right. This is the love. Is opposite. This is the feeling of the love. Yeah. The materials also go like that, and the spiritual also go like that. You check with the material life in your life, it also go like this. When you don't like, you are in danger for you. Rade, <laughs> Rade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. In this verse, Sripada gives some indications of the glories of this supreme truth named right. Radha, of whom he wants to take shelter. First of all, he says that Radha is Manju Svabhav, she has a beautiful, charming nature. Towards please, Mohana. Please, wait, please wait. explain us. Manju, once more again, please. Last time you explained, but please. <laughs> please. This is another meaning which is so beautiful. Please, Gurudev. Manju means who is very submissive. She, huh? oh my God. Manju, is clear? Voice is clear? No? Manju means very, very adjustable. Very, 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 very sweet, and in all chances, at the same time, Manjari is there, and Krishna is there. She is so Manju Sohav, at the same time, she gives love to Krishna as a conjugal lover, and she managed to the baby also. The Manjari is her. Everyone cannot do in the same mood. The one mood is, you can fix very diff difficult to fix, live in one mood, and he she is managing two moods at the same time, many moods at the same time. That is Manju Soha. This is the cleverness. This is the art of cleverness. <laughs> Art of behaving with everyone and art of hiding. Yes. Yeah. Adjustable. For every, she is so capable that you cannot be. I imagine. So Manjiri become very capable because of the association and service to Radharani. Yes. Qualities come to, to you will see the manjaris are also you go to meet Vinod Baba, he is very manju so mm -hmm. Anandas Babaji also very extreme, submissive and very kind. Only try to not talk about the logic, philosophy or pastime. You only want to care you and give love to you. How much he can do sitting in one place, unbalanced, they become unbalanced. Manju so. Yeah. This is the quality of sweetness. Kindness yeah. and only 
someone who has these qualities can be adjustable. Yeah, right. With very sweet, in, on, in very sweet way. Yeah. Polite way. Yeah. Because it's very important for Paraki above. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Guru. Yeah. For this explanation. Thank you. Please read. First of all, he says that Sri Radha is Manju Swabha. She has a beautiful, charming nature. Towards Mohana, towards her girlfriends, towards her maidservant, and towards all the people of the world. Wow. Men servant and people of the world. Love so kind. This love, you will say what is how the love. In material world we fall in love and love is a her manju so. Love is born where? From Pradika. She is the Allah the nation. She is a giver of love. Even in the animals, in the plants, everywhere in the creation where love comes from her. Hmm? How sweet is her completely selfless love for Mohana. Bah. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of devotion? Who will teach me? How is when I will see this? How oh, is completely his love for Mohan, his lover, without seeing that selflessness? Because if I am not out from my material consciousness and I live in my gopi bhav, soul consciousness, or not want to grow in manjari bhav, I will be in gopi bhav, I can see only Krishna. I will be in manjari bhav, I will see Radhika. How sweet is her completely selfless love for Mohana. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 9.29, I am equal in all living beings. I hate nobody and nobody is dear to me. But he who worships me with devotion dwells in me, and I dwell in them. Oh, 
that love to learn from Radha. If you want to give that, she is the giver of that love. In this way, the Lord shows how he is controlled by the love of his devotees. In the Gita, Krishna says that he bestows his mercy according to the amount of the devotee's surrender. But sweet-natured Shirada gives love to the people of the world without making any distinction. Jai Ho! Kida? Jai Radhe! Condition and no condition. Mother love is no condition, and father love is always condition. Right, Rasmai? I felt unconditional from both of them <laughs> many times. <laughs> so you are so pure. <laughs> Unfortunate. Very good. That I want to listen. But gender lights me. Father, my love is very conditional. Mother love, I see no condition. Material life, I say myself. You do this, I do this for you. I do this. Mother, do or not do. It's unconditional. <laughs> this is my Swami. All oh, no condition with you. There are. In this present age, she has descended as Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, who accepted her mood and complexion. Adhi Kalpalatta Nikunjam means that Sri Radha is the wish-yielding creeper of Vraja's bower houses, fulfilling all the desires of Mohana and the devotees. One Kalpalata can fulfill all wishes, but Sri Radha is a bower full of such desire vines. Indiscriminately showering the surrendered souls with streams of compassion. Srimad Bhagavat states, No one is dear 
to Krishna. No one is his dearest friend. No one is unwelcome, hateful, or treated with indifference by him. Nevertheless, he loves his devotees in the same way as they love him. Just as a wish-yielding tree grants the desires of men only when approached by them. The commentators... Nadiran. Huh. We can see here from this Srimad Bhagavatam verse and also from this Bhagavad Gita verse. I have book here. Uh, Radhara Sasuna. The first part of both verses actually are mentioning Krishna like Atmaram. He is neutral to anyone, to everyone. But the second part of both verses is giving explanation of importance of relationship with him. Wow. Beautiful. When verse is speaking, he is equal to everyone. He doesn't hate or doesn't love to him anyone. It means actually he is situated in the material world in Maya Shakti, <laughs> like Atmaram. Yeah. <laughs> but if someone loves him, worships him with devotion, then he is dwelling in that person, and that person is dwelling in him. So this is the difference between Atmaram, neutral position, Krishna who is situated in Maya Shakti, and Krishna with love, with Radha, is situated in Daivi Shakti. Yeah, oh, that is the point. <laughs> and then is Atmarati. That is Daivi Shakti. Mm. Daivi Shakti and Maya Shakti. This is a different. Atma Rama is neutral position. He's fulfilling actually the, the karma of Jiva and trying to a little bit direct him. But in position of direct devotional relationship, this is completely another thing. Yeah. And someone who takes a complete shelter of Sri Radhika, then he understood what's going on and how all these things are works. Thank you, Gurudev, yeah. for your direction. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jal. One thing more I want to say. Mm. Atma. And Atma Ram is also different. Atma is the uh, neutral, and Atma Ram is is Radha, Radha Raman, Rama, Ram, Ram. So Atma Atma Rati is the personal. Yes. Atmarati. 317. Yes. Atmarati. Atmarati makes you different bhava. See that 370. Atmarati. Then we have nothing to do because we are Ramana. We are moving in loving conjugal or our Divine loving exchange 
When Atma is with Rama, becomes mm. Rati, Atma Rati. Rati. Yes. When Atma, Jiva, is with Ram, Radhika, then is completely Atma satisfying. Atma Rati. <laughs> <laughs> so many levels. <laughs> Rama, Rama, yes. with both Atma Rati. Yes. Anjali. So this is the proof, Gurudev, that without understanding and situating ourselves in Radha Dasi, we cannot understand even Bhagavad Gita properly. Oh, this is the part I want to share with you. <laughs> Jananda Maharaj, Please. you stamp yourself. Your stamp is very perfect. We are sharing you for your apple, that is hmm? okay or not. You Very are nice. more pandit. Huh? You are more pandit, bhai. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Very nice explanation. And today I, I feel Gurudev. Krishna say Gita is Anantas Baba Ji say. This wow. is very this is very very neutral. Very, what is say, not positive, little bit negative. <laughs> you know, you, you do. Okay, I do. <laughs> but Radha Rani is not like this. No. <laughs> Radha Rani is Manju Swababa. Manju. Automatically, he has Atomarati. Atoma, Radha Rani has really Atomarama. Yeah. <laughs> Radha Rani. <laughs> Good to love everybody. Yeah. I'm without sorry. saying, without saying, rather than could fulfill everything. I I know love, but she loves. Yes. This, yes. This is this is interesting, Guru. <laughs> this is the beautiful. So very beautiful, Guru Dev. Goranga Sundar is a very beautiful explanation. Jaiho, Jaiho, Rashikan ki Jaiho. You see, so many Rasiks are coming. Or they have to share. All has to increase. If you not share, it will not become your realization. Wrong or right share. Please, everyone will come. Do it. I want, this has to be many, many Zoom classes. Many, many Zoom classes. Everyone start Zoom classes and share and live and grow this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>